Today we are going to learn how to draw a sloth. Art with Miss A. All right, to start this project, you need one piece of white paper folded in half and then half again. Open it up and you should have four rectangles, a black pen, a pencil, and an eraser. Open up your paper and put it horizontally, meaning lengthwise going side to side. And we're going to take those four sections and we're going to break out our sloth into shapes. The first shape we're going to draw is going to be the face of our sloth and you're going to use section one and three for that and you notice the horizontal line going all the way down that is going to be our guide for the body of our sloth draw a line down that uh, crease and then bring it back up to the head and now you have the body and the head of your sloth right now i am showing you where i'm going to draw a curved line from one side of the paper to the other and then making a parallel line again which is going to be the vine that the sloth will be hanging from sloths like to hang a lot and i don't know if you know this but they move very slowly so now i'm making the legs of my sloth which are basically looks like kind of a finger shape but it's kind of an oval and you're making two of those one for the front and one for the back legs of the sloth now we are going to draw the back two legs of our sloth by drawing a parallel line from the two legs on the upper side of the leg and draw it up to the vine just a straight line and then making some curved lines onto that vine which are actually the hands of your sloth now sloths have very very long like fingernails that help them grasp things and hang for a very long time so there is my uh, my four legs and now I'm going to work on the face of my so sloth. now I'm going to give the face some details the first thing I'm going to do is draw an oval inside my oval but near the hairline I'm drawing some up and down zigzag lines to show that it has fur and then I'm going to do the same thing on top of my um, sloth's head because they have a lot of long fur and now I'm going to draw um, some eyes and they have some eyes that go off the side so you want to draw two ovals on either side of the face now I'm going to finish off my nose with an oval a mouth I'm gonna make my sloth have a smiley face and two ovals for the pupils of the eyes all right just going to clean up a little bit of some of my pencil marks and then i'm going to work on the branches of my tree and i'm going to make um, some lines that kind of look like a letter y that are going to go out from that main um, branch that the sloth is hanging off of and you can make as many as you want and I like to make some going in all different directions so draw a line kind of curved and then bring it back down and make kind of like a Y shape basically that's an upside down Y and then you can make some on top of the branch make some small ones some big ones working on the composition which means the way I lay out my um, artwork on a piece of paper and you can use your creative side for this Now I'm going to draw some leaves off of my branches and basically that's kind of like a, a football shape and you're going to make them all over um, your branches of your tree. And after we are done with this, we are going to outline everything in black.
So now you want to take your black marker. I am using a permanent black marker because I am going to actually watercolor the sloth and the background. And if I used a regular pen, it would bleed uh, once water was used. So if you plan on using uh, watercolors or paint, I recommend a permanent black pen. Um, if not, you can use just a regular black pen if you're gonna use color crayons or pencils to color your sloth and your background. Here I'm erasing all the extra lines and now I'm ready to paint. Getting my watercolor paints and my paint brushes, some small and a little larger, and um, something to hold your water in. And you're going to start looking at the colors and deciding how you wanna paint this, if you wanna paint it realistic or if you wanna do stylized. Stylized meaning you can use any color you want or if you wanna do realistic, you might wanna look on the internet uh, for a picture of a sloth so you can see its coloring. And I'm just activating my watercolor paints by putting just a dab of clear water um, in each of them so that when I'm ready to use it, um, it will be ready for me to paint with. And that's by just adding a little couple drops of uh, water. So what I'm doing is the wet on wet technique on my sloth. And that is basically wetting the paper with just clean, uh, clear water anywhere you're going to paint the color. And I'm gonna paint my sloth a brown color. So I'm just painting uh, just within the lines water um, so that when I add my watercolor paint, it will bleed and give this really cool effect. So this is called wet on wet. And here I go, I'm adding the uh, paint and you can see it bleeding out, which kind of gives it some interesting uh, looking texture by the way it's darker in some places and lighter in other where it bleeds out. And it kind of looks like fur, and I'm now doing the arms of my um, sloth. And now I'm going to use a lighter brown for the face. And I'm just doing a light coat. Watercolors, you can always go darker by once it dries, uh, reapplying more watercolor paint on top of the first layer. And watercolor is basically layering many different layers of watercolor. Here we're just doing some more uh, texture by adding a little bit of that lighter brown to the dark brown. And I just like to give it some depth, meaning like using two different colors, it makes it a little more interesting. Now I'm going to start painting the branch that the sloth is uh, holding itself on and I'm doing a dark, dark, dark brown. It almost looks sort of black. And then after that I will paint the leaves of my tree. All right, so now I am ready to 
paint the background because the sloth and the tree are dry and that way the paint won't bleed all into the sloth when I'm painting the background. That's a little trick is to let maybe your main objects dry before you do the background. So here I'm adding clear water to half the piece of paper and I'm going to work the left side and then the right side. And first adding the clear water, now I'm painting my bluish purple color um, for the background and you'll see how it bleeds and it kind of fades out that'll be darker in some places and lighter in others and I do like that effect and once I have finished painting the left side with my color background I'm going to then wet the paper but it does have a little bit of that uh, color that I painted already on the left side and that's okay because you're going to be adding that same color and I'm just adding water around the tree uh, branches and leaves and around the sloth on the right side and then I'm going to add more pigment meaning more watercolor um, to my paintbrush and do the same thing that I did on the left. Now I'm going to let the whole entire picture dry and now I'm going to go back in with my permanent black pen and add more details. I'm going to darken in the nose and the eyes and I'm going to even give some uh, decorative lines that make it look like it's got fur that's uh, around its face and I think I'm going to do that on the body as well. You can do whatever you want. If you choose to just leave it as is, that's fine too. All right, great job. Now we're going to do a different type of sloth with some clothespins, some Elmer's glue, and a white piece of paper. This time we're going to draw a baby sloth and a, and a mommy sloth. And we're gonna do one um, smaller and one larger. And we're gonna do it exactly the way we did it the first time by making an oval face and then kind of making an oval body that is attached to that little oval. So then below that, you wanna draw a little bit bigger oval and a little bit bigger body. And that way you'll have one small one and one large one. And then we're going to decorate the face like we did the first uh, uh, one that we did with an oval inside the oval with some uh, hair that's kind of up and down zigzag lines at the top. Do the same thing at the bottom and now you're going to do those eyes that look like ovals coming from the side of your face and you'll do one uh, the little one first and then the big one and you're just duplicating you're copying what you do from one to the other and we're going to show you right after you draw them um, how we're going to make them look three-dimensional which is really fun if you can uh, locate some um, clothespins 
So I'm just finishing up the details, the hair on the top of the head, and I'm going to also um, color these in, but I'm first going to outline them all in black pen like we always do to make it pop. erasing any uh, pencil lines, getting it all cleaned up. And then this uh, project, I'm gonna use colored pencils to color in my sloths. And you can do stylized, which means you can pick any color you want, or you can do more of a realistic sloth. And I'm choosing again to do more of a realistic sloth. They're kind of brown and black. Um, some of them are the ones I researched on um, Google and I'm just coloring them in. You'll notice there are no legs on these sloths and I'm going to show you after you color and cut these out how we're going to assemble them so that they're a really cool looking uh, three-dimensional sloths. So just finishing up coloring with my pencil, staying in the lines. If you go a little outside the lines that's fine too because you're going to cut both of these out. All right, now that you've cut out your sloths and you're going to get your four clothespins and your Elmer's glue. And you're going to glue your sloths um, on the part where you pinch your clothespin um, and where that pinching of your clothespin is, that's what you're going to use to hang it on things. So make sure you draw with your black pen the feet where the uh, sloth will hold on to something. So you're gonna make little lines that go down that represent their like uh, big long fingernails. And you're gonna do that on both sets of clothespins. And then after that, you're gonna lay your sloth piece of paper where you pinch the, the clothespin and you're gonna slide it in there. And then you're gonna use your Elmer's glue and you're gonna slide back out and add some glue to the end of your clothespin 
at the bottom of it, not the top, and just lightly put down your sloth over those drops of glue. Just a little bead will do, a little dot, and you're just gonna lay your sloth and press down to make sure the glue firmly holds down the paper to the clothespin. Let that dry for, I don't know, maybe overnight and watch what you get. You get two sloths with legs that have clothespins for legs and they get to hang different places. So now you can find places around your house or out in the backyard or anywhere really to hang your sloths. And here are mine. So thank you for stopping by with Art with Miss A. And remember, if you can imagine it, you can make it, and you can change your world. Bye for now. Have a wonderful summer.